Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Omnolence Breakfast with Kuta Loops. All right, so in the last episode, after much faffing about, we actually got our uh, council power abolished. Um, and I think in this episode, we will try to once again secure Tanner's position as the uh, rightful heir of the kingdom. And also to try to take some territory away from the Songhei. Now, we could go for a de jure claim on Songhei, but that will result in us, I think, Probably vassalizing this guy more so than taking anything that he holds. So I think instead of force vassalization or de jure claim on Songhei, let's go for de jure claim on each individual territory. Um, it will take a little bit longer, but I'd rather um, not have to deal with, you know, asshole vassals and shit. So, let's do it. Um, crap, I should have waited for my... Uh, levies to replenish a little bit. Ah. Uh, oh, well, I... I think we'll be okay. Possibly. Maybe? Well, we'll see. Okay. Let's get you guys gone on the boats and down to Tamdult, please. Right, in the meantime... I believe there are some honorary titles that I can award to Tanner here. Let's go with Designated Regent. Let's also go with... Um... High Admiral, because I think that's the better of the other ones, and then Designated Heir. So now Tanner actually likes me. Wow. He loves me, as a matter of fact. Weird. Right now, we're trying to assassinate this guy. Um, having a little bit of difficulty getting that fired. I kind of wonder if maybe we can try worshipping the Ancestors. Although we have to be at peace. Um... And the reason why I want to worship the Ancestors is there's that option to sacrifice someone in your uh, prison in order to, you know, honor the Ancestors and stuff. So what if we do this? Um, there's no guarantee that we'll actually sacrifice anyone that we want. So we need to minimize the number of people in my prison. So foreigners, let's get all of these foreigners out because I don't think there's anyone in my um, prison that is a genius lady. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. And we are looking in prisons as well. Alright, that's fine. Great, we should be getting some money out of this. A decent amount of money. About 240 ducats, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Although, um, the hassle of having to click through all the acceptance letters is very annoying, but eh. Small price to pay, I suppose. Or maybe not. Is it worth it, I wonder? Eh. Young Tanat has finished her education in the ways of war. It is evident that she has excelled, excelled in her studies. A skilled tactician. Okay, good for you, Tanat. The monophysite faith triumphant. Cool. Doesn't really concern me in any way whatsoever. And let's see if we can get Herman Toothrot to become secretly uh, Shia. You need an education, Marshall. It started as an uneasiness around guests and strangers, then evolved into an awkwardness and a strong feeling of discomfort. Try to be more gregarious. Fuck yeah. Although, mediocre is kind of on his way out, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um... I summoned Herman Toothrot to my study where I proceeded to rename the Quran. I could tell from the first minute that I had a real challenge ahead of me. The lad was fidgeting in his seat and played with his sleeves. However, I was not expecting him to shout at me when I brought up Allah. Eh, whatever. I don't really care. I'll be honest with you. Doesn't really matter. No, no, no. Keep spying on your Girthen. Oh shit, they have like... 1,200, uh, troops. How many troops do I have? I think we should be able to take care of him. Stan? Be kind. a boy. No, no, no. Just keep at it. Don't worry about it. We'll find something eventually. Kanchla approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would, I would require some gold in your patience and the work would take a year to complete. I might not live long enough to see this, but sure, why not? Just in case I do, let's give him some money. And I think he's got good character traits, meaning that he will most likely not build a statue of himself. Knock on wood? But we'll see. Okay, boats, you guys can disband. 
Let's see if maybe we can... Okay, we can't. Fine. Um, we still have all these prisoners. Can we ransom them still? Yeah, we can. So we can get rid of at least seven more dudes. Fantastic. Alright, bitch. Come at me. Where are you at? Don't hide. Fight me. I'll fight you in real life. Alright. The other dudes. I wonder if we just... If we should just execute these guys. I mean, Toothrod is impressing everyone with his sensible choices and great capacity for self-restraint. Conscientious. Yeah, there you go. Now, um... We execute them. Hmm. Not cause me to lose any piety. This will not worsen your vassal's opinion of you. This will upset the realms of some of the characters executed. Hmm. Maybe you should just release them. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just release them. I don't really care. It's all good. Okay, so now we have five prisoners left. I don't know who the hell this guy is. Oh, I revoked his title. Can I execute him? Can I banish him? I suppose I could release him. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll release you. Because I don't really care about you, and I don't want you to be, uh... Part of the uh, execution thing. Sacrifice thing, rather. Okay. So we have these guys. I don't really want to sacrifice him. But I also don't want to uh, release him. Kind of wonder if maybe we should humiliate him or try to plot to kill him. And I also don't want to have this guy be part of my sacrifice either. Um. Well, what if we try to execute... Or what if we try to um, assassinate these guys instead? Get them in my prison and... Uh, sorry, get them dead in my prison. Okay, fantastic. That's immediately triggered. Great. And now we'll um, pursue Songhei into the end. Okay, um, so we managed to kill him. But unfortunately, our complicity was discovered. Which is unfortunate. But since Mediocre is most likely going to die soon, I guess it doesn't really matter in the end. Okay, well, let's give Timbuktu away to someone who is more deserving. But wait, no. No, let's turn Timbuktu into a uh, Grand City. So I'm going to give you the Grand City of Timbuktu. So now, yeah, that's better. And then if I give you the Republic of Timbuktu. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so that little git is dead. Um, I think the other guy just kind of died in my prison too. And I think we'll try to uh, get this guy assassinated as well. Because, uh, yeah, I don't really like him. 87%. Oh, please help me. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. A lot of support on this guy. Although I did have to spend a lot of money on bribes and shit, but it's fine. Okay. Anyone else want to potentially join my plot to assassinate some dude in my prison? No? Alright, well, that's, that's fine. Okay, let's hope I don't actually get caught this time. But again, if I do, it's not that big of a deal because Mediocre is probably gonna die soon. But not too soon. A convoy flying the three-foot standard was ambushed by pirates today while on their way home with their holds full of uh, precious cargo. Thanks to the quick actions of their crew, they managed to turn the tables on the pirates and capture two of their galleys. The prize money will be divided evenly, but the lion's share goes to you. Nice. And he's dead. Fantastic. Died under suspicious circumstances like a little bitch. Okay. Look, I don't know who you guys are, but get out of my prison. So once we, um, release these guys... We did lose a little bit of, uh, war score, but, eh, it's fine. Ah, shit, we need to be at peace. Crap all over it. Damn it. Okay, well then, let's start sieging down Gao. Could be a good idea. And since we're gonna be, uh, boxing them in this one county, they won't be able to go anywhere anyways. Alright, we need to get ourselves a new Chancellor, and it's gonna be this guy, who really likes me. Alright, buddy, who really likes me. Let's have you... 
I guess try to... Right, that's Tangier and hates me for good reason. Domain too big. Yeah... It's fine. Once we get centralization uh, working, it should work. Um, it should be fine. There's no woman better at increasing the church's opinion of me or teach me to become a more pious man than my chief diviner Menza. Temple vassal opinion, please. Okay. That's my wife. I don't really think we need to imprison my wife. The monument promised by Conchla is finished. Upon unveiling, a statue of yourself is revealed, and you notice the crowd smiling and giving you a round of applause. Fantastic. Yeah, I have no words. So we gain some prestige. That's nice. The Great Ball. Grandmire uh, Yagurthan of the Masmudid Republic will soon be hosting a Great Ball in his family palace, and every patrician family in the Republic has been invited, except for yours. Your dynasty's relation to the Masmudid family has been tense as of late, and you, as you are competing with them in several important markets. The decision not to invite Threepwood members to the ball can only be seen as a grave insult. As you sit brooding in the chambers of your own palace, you wonder how to tackle the situation. Will you turn up at the ball anyway, pretending there has been some mistake? Or will you turn the other cheek and accept this front to Threepwood honor? Um, hmm. Alright, well, you know what? Let's ready my carriage. Let's hope I don't actually die from this. Arriving at the ball. You show up at the Masmudid family palace with your entourage and make your way past the posted guards before they can block your uh, way. Music and laughter can be heard from inside the palace, but it seems to die out the moment you step inside. Hushed whispers are all that can be heard as everyone's eyes seem to focus on you. Prince Mayor Mediocre, someone calls out. Grand Mayor Yagurthin emerges from the crowd with a smile on his face. How kind of you to join us. May I see your invitation? As you struggle for words, guards surround you and your party. No invitation? That's a shame. With a small wave from Yagurthin, the guards drag you all outside and throw you down the stairs of the entrance. What a fucking degenerate. He threw a 61-year-old infirm man down the steps. What an asshole. Uh, lying on your back in the dirt, you see Yugurthan grinning down at you. You will live to regret this, Yugurthan. Mark my words! Worrying reports have reached you regarding your marshal, Grand Mayor Anwa. It seems he has been uh, using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry in Canarius. I don't like it, but the damage is done. We're just gonna turn a blind eye because he really likes me. 56. Okay, we're getting there. We've upgraded our great mansion. Fantastic. Let's see if we can upgrade it some more. Let's go with... Hmm. I guess wine cellar, maybe? Yeah, let's go for the uh, fertility boost. And I think I should try to get mediocre... Uh, sorry, Tanner married. Uh, let's see if maybe... There are some ladies out there who are willing to marry my Tanner. Preferably one who is actually able to bear children. Nope, that's not my prison. Any geniuses out there? No. None that are within... Well, diplomatic range, at least. Alright, that's fine. Can I maybe convince her to come to my court? It's possible, but I don't really want any uh, weak children. How about... No, that's not possible. This lady, then? She's 47 years old. She's not going to be able to bear any children. There's Baka here. Um, who's actually got some decent stats. She might be our only real candidate. By her favor. Better bring her into our court. She already had a child with someone, but it doesn't really matter. No, it's fine. It's fine. Wait, is she chased? Damn it. Oh well, it's fine. It's all good. Powerful factions, shit. Okay, miss, welcome to my court. You are going to get married to Tanner. Guys, have fun. Make lots of babies, okay? Lots and lots of babies, please. Alright, you son of a bitch. Who's stirring up shit? This asshole over here. Domain too big, decrease council power of dishonorable feuding families. Ah... Right, because our families are feuding. I see. Well... Hmm. 
Let's be friends with this guy from El Rif. Great. And then let's try to assassinate him. Since you're just gonna sacrifice Firmus anyways, it doesn't really matter. So yeah. 100% with Songhei. Great. So that's that war dealt with. Fantastic. And we can distribute it to whomever we want, however we want. We will give this one to... Let's see here. Oh, sure. Zigza. Wow. Zigza, really? Quite the name there, Zigza. Hmm, Market Village. It's not really all that well developed. But, uh, I don't know what I was expecting. Alright, Zigza. Here, you can take the... Grand City of Gao. It's not really a grand city, though, is it? Alright. So we have just this guy in my prison. Let's worship the ancestors. Um... Let's see. Let's try prosperity and growth. I don't know if I've actually tried that before. You asked your ancestors for prosperity and wealth for your realm. Now it is time to present your offering. What will you give them in return? Yes. Fantastic. Perfect. So now that he's dead... Uh, this guy's next in line. Unacceptable. If he dies, unfortunately, that's not really going to help situations. Because he has a daughter, meaning that his house will be destroyed. So I think we're just going to have to fund our campaign with money. Let's hope that these guys don't try to match my thing here. Fantastic. I'm, gl I'm kind of glad that that uh, worked out. Alright, they are actually funding the campaign now. Unbelievable. What an absolute jerk. You son of a bitch. How much money do you have? Not that much. We should be able to outbid him. And now the assassination plot. We have a lot of people supporting, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Obviously, we'll do our best. But if we can't make it, then... That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Alright. Can I... Hmm. Damn it, man! Stop matching my money, you jerk. What an asshole. Wow, look at that. Now they're all um, pouring money into the campaign. Good grief. You can't match my funds, bitch. Not having much luck? Just keep at it. I think he's got, like, crazy high intrigue. Yep, he does. Totally does. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. I just gave him all my money. Fuck me. Well, once we uh, take over as Tanner, it'll come back to me anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But I kind of wish that I didn't. Hmm. Tamdul prospers. That's great. Eh. Uh, no, no, no. Just keep at it. Why isn't this triggering? He's not in hiding, is he? No, he can't be. He's leading troops. Oh, right. It's because he's leading troops. There we go. Come on. Let's kill him. Let's hope he dies. Success. Grand Mayor Yugurthen per perished in the manure explosion. There's no trace of my complicity to be found amongst the rubble. Yugurthen went out with a bang. Heh <laughs> Now he's been taken over by an asshole who also hates me. Unbelievable. Thankfully, his intrigue is absolute rubbish, meaning that I think we might have a much easier time of assassinating his dick. Possibly. But let's just guarantee that we have as much support as we can muster. And apparently some bastard blabbed. What an asshole. But uh, it seems like we're actually trying to uh, sabotage his carriage. Nice. Ariza, thrift. And Mancomb Seepgood, also thrift. Alright. We're actually making a decent amount of money. Carriage went uh, sent flying into a ravine, but Grandmaster Yilian jumped out moments earlier. At least the driver was killed by his guards before my involvement can be exposed. Usamids, if we go to war against them, I don't think we'll have enough troops to be able to take a um, Masat. Right, he's dead. I know that. Sure, let's try to induct Meathook into uh, Shiaism. Septa does not like me. What an asshole. Yeah, I guess we, 
can try poisoning him. We can usurp the Emirate of Songhei, which might not be a bad idea. I don't really care. Uh, Meathook? We'll give you diplomacy. Yeah, the guy named Meathook is going to be our diplomat. It's awesome. Can I track one of your vassals? The guy in Zarma. Breach of feudal contact or contract. What an asshole. What an unbelievable asshole. Well, actually, if I destroy his um, entire family, that, uh, that'll... There we go. He's dead. And now, there's just one asshole left to kill. Fantastic. That will destroy the family. Um, let's hope that the one that replaces him will not have as much respect as, uh, Tanner, if not more. Okay, um... Did we already have this? I don't know if I have actually read this before. Convoy flying the three-foot standard was ambushed by pirates today while on their way home with their holds full of precious cargo. Thanks to the quick actions of their crews, they managed to turn the table on the pirates and capture two of their galleys. By crews, um, they are of course referring to uh, clones of Terry Crews, who just happened to be the uh, crew members of the uh, galley. So obviously they were able to uh, crush the pirates with their manly, manly biceps and generous and kind nature. Or something. The prize money will be divided evenly, but the lion's share goes to you. Nice. Um, wait, Marshall, what are you doing? Why are you training troops? I want you to, uh... No, why are you organizing the army? What the fuck happened to this guy? Tanner? Sure, be my steward, and let's have you collect taxes. Don't die, though. Whatever you do, Tanner, don't die. Um, right, Emirate of Songhei. The last few seasons have been treating my capital, Canarius, well, and by well, I mean excellent. Trade is flourishing, and even most peasants seem, um, fed and happy. While I do take some credit for this pros prosperity, I'm convinced that my ancestors have been protecting us. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And we're going to assassinate this guy. Nice. Okay. Can I just vassalize you? I guess I can. Fine, how about I take this emirate from you? That'll, of course, I think piss some people off because now I have three duchy titles. Which is not cool, but eh, it's fine. Whoa, people really don't like me. Shit. Okay, well, we've been discovered, but that's fine. They don't really care. I'm considered dishonorable, but that's because of my known murder. Barriza says her favorite toy is missing and won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Go find it. And it stinks, and they're unhappy. Oh, poor little shit. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. Now, I could give away these, um, castles, but I don't really want to. Meet Hope? Be kind. Nope. Become an erudite. Stan has become an intricate web weaver. Not bad. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness is setting in. Don't die. I'm not dead. Nice. Despite being infirm and all that stuff. And I've had a, an illegitimate grandson. Aladdin, you fucked my daughter? You rat motherfucker. Oh my god. Okay, can I abduct this asshole? I'd be using 300 divine power. But since I'm so old, I'd say let's just use it. I don't really care. We're gonna abduct your ass. Ugh, Yuva? What do we name you? What do we name you? Okay, Mancomb, Seepgood, Rapscallion, Meathook, Herman Toothrot, Stan. Let's give you... Men of low moral fiber. <laughs> he is multiple men of low moral fiber. Of course, the bastard. Yeah, I put the word out amongst my 
sorry, among my brethren and the assassins. When an opportunity presents itself, the bre brothers and sisters in Idjil will attempt to snatch Lord Mayor Aladdin and bring him to me in chains. Nice. No, no, no. Just be patient. It's only been a little while. There's no need to stop it, like, just after we started. Like an idiot. Come on, guys. Jeez. Why is this not firing? Holy crap. Oh, you son of a bitch. Damn it. This guy's got too much respect. Fuck this. Okay, great. Now the Umayyads have decided to, um, or the Husamids, rather, have decided to wage war on me. And why are my spirit guardians so weak? I do not understand. All right, all right. Menza, sure. Let's make you the make you seek the Shia. All right, guys. Nope, don't really care. Fuck off with that noise, bitch. In fact, let's actually meet up in uh, wherever that is. What is this, Masat? Herman Toothwat has become a tough soldier. That's great. No, no, just keep at it. And they're going to land at least. Maximum 600 dudes on my capital. Unacceptable. Actually, let's have you guys land in Canarius, please. Thank you. Stupid ass bitch. Alright, let's take Masak from this asshole. What the hell? Alright, that's fine. That's only, um... 1100 dudes. Should be more than capable of uh, taking them out. All right, let's do it. Damn it, you failed! Oh shit, they have a lot of dudes coming in. Crap, they're about to merge those assholes. Menza, let's have you go intrigue. And... Nothing is happening. Hmm. Well, that's really unfortunate. Can I hire some mercenaries? There's not a lot of mercenary groups around. But we might need to. No, no, no. Just do it. We might be able to actually assassinate the guy that we want to kill. And that's going to cost us five ducats a month. We'll be able to support it for at least a little bit. I don't really care about that. Let's have you guys land in Masat, and then from Masat, we'll all just travel together. Oh, crap. What is this? Okay, Ptolemy in the front. Uh, Magan on the right. And you on the left. Ah, that's good. Fantastic. He dead. So now his entire house has become extinct. Awesome. And that does mean that we have the most respect. Very good. Kind of wondering if maybe we should wipe these assholes out too. Ptolemy. He is our commander, so I think we'll just let, let Ptolemy live for the time being. Let's try to wipe out another family, though. Okay. And now I'm incapable. Shit. Alright, that's fine. I mean, mediocre... Sorry, um... Tanner is supposed to be my... Regent anyways, so... Regent and heir, so I guess it kind of works out. And we've managed to... Uh, imprison some asshole. Fantastic. I didn't really order the boats, but... Um, sure, why not? Actually, let's get you guys up here. Oh, they're going to uh, move back into Sebta. And it seems like they are actually going to ignore my um, Holy Order troops once again. Nice. That wasn't a lot of kills, though, I gotta say. It wasn't a lot of kills. Let's see if we can maybe coax them back into Sebta. I love it. <laughs> I love how the AI just completely ignores um, Holy Order troops. Um, sure. And we didn't get hit by lightning, did we? No, we're okay. We're okay for an, uh, incapable dude, but, eh. Sure, Rapscallion. I don't know if I really want to follow that guy across the strait. Rapscallion is apparently good at stewardship. It's weird, considering his name and all that. No, I don't really care. Nice. I love it.
And I don't think that you have enough troops to be able to uh, siege down Canaries at all. 63%. If only we had someone who was... Um... You know... Good at... What am I trying to say? Oh, uh, if only we had an organizer here. It would really help us out, but nah, it's fine. Actually, why don't you guys just guys just stay in Septa? No, they're gonna go to Tangier this time. All right, that's fine. We're at sixty-five percent. This war should go fairly easily. We've actually killed the Caliph. Wow! Holy crap! Holy, that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Not really what I was expecting, but okay. We have a legitimate son. I'm a son. Mm, no, you are. Otis. Fantastic. Alright, we're at 94%. And Mediocre has bitten the bucket. Fantastic. Prince Mayor Mediocre feasts with the gods at age 65. He died comatose in bed. No one to be kind, few had a bad word to say about him. A godly man, Mediocre is with the ancestors now. Prince Mayor Tanner, tolerant of those of other faiths. Tanner's curiosity will surely find him many friends. Long live Prince Mayor Tanner. Nice. Okay. So that's that settled. Well, uh, I think now would be a good time to end the episode. Um, kind of wish I had, uh, you know, concluded this war before we ended it, but it's fine, I suppose. Yeah, let's leave it off here and we'll continue this tomorrow. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.